Good evening. I am Priyam Sinha and my topic is transplants in myeloma. Myeloma, also called multiple myeloma, is a cancer of the plasma cells. Plasma cells are white blood cells that make antibodies that protect us from infection. In myeloma, the cells grow too much, crowding out normal cells in the bone marrow that makes red blood cells, platelets and other white blood cells. It's not known exactly what causes multiple myeloma. However, there is a close link between multiple myeloma and a condition called monoclonal gammopathy of unknown significance, MGUS, where there is an excess of protein molecules called immunoglobins in the blood. In transplant therapy, in a stem cell transplant, the patient gets high-dose chemotherapy to kill the cells in the bone marrow. Then the patient receives new healthy blood forming stem cells. When the cell transplants were first developed, the new stem cells came from bone marrow and so this was known as a bone marrow transplant. Now stem cells are more often collected from blood. In an allogenic stem cell transplant, the patient gets blood forming stem cells from another person, the donor. The best treatment results occur when the donor cells are closely matched to the patient's cell type and the donor is closely related to the patient, such as a brother or a sister. Allergenic transplants are much riskier than autologous transplants, but they may be better at fighting the cancer. The early side effects from a stem cell transplants or SCT are similar to those from a chemotherapy and radiation, only more severe. One of the most serious side effects is low blood counts, which can lead to risk of serious infections and bleeding. While there is no cure for multiple myeloma, the cancer can be managed successfully in many patients for years. Thank you.